Hi, it's the MLM for the Soul Channel, and I do have a new topic for today. Before I begin, I just would like to say, may the words and expressions of my mouth and the thoughts and meditations of my heart find favor and acceptance before you, Hashem. And some people I thank you have inspired me. I hope they can inspire you as well. I will have links below this video to their sites. They are Rabbi Shom Arsh, Rabbi Laser Brody, Rabbi Yosef Mizrahi, Rabbi Eli Mansour, Rabbi Alon Anava, Rabbi Yuval Ovadia, Rabbi Daniel Asser, Nisan Baruch Black, David Sachs, Rabbi Michael Skobach, Jews for Judaism, Rabbi David Usher, and Rabbi Ron Ruvain. As well, if you've never checked out this channel before, I will have a link right below this video to my first video, which explains what MLM for this all means, what it stands for, and what I'm doing. So today's topic is from an email I received again from Rabbi Eli Mansour. He always has wonderful um, things to share. And this is on um, the importance of reading uh, Shir Hashirim, um, which is called the Song of Songs by uh, uh, King uh, Shlomo HaMelech on Arab, on Arab Shabbos, why it's so important. So I'm going to read what he wrote here. So the Midrash Talpio, based on the Zohar in Parshas Noah, writes that the souls of the wicked condemned to suffering in Gehenna are given a reprieve from their suffering during the times when we are praying here in this world. Each of the three daily prayer services, the Midrash Tapiot writes, lasts for an hour and a half. It seems that in the olden days, the tzaddikim spent a full 90 minutes on each prayer, even Mincha and Arvit, or, or um, um, Arvit is also called, um, what is it called? Mincha? <laughs> I forget. Um, it has another name to it. Uh, Marv, sorry. Uh, so yeah, so years ago they used to spend a lot more time nowadays. People rush through the davening, unfortunately. Sad to say. This means that the wicked enjoyed 4.5 4 hours of relief a day, which are three 90-minute periods, or 27 hours a week, which is 4.5 hours times 6, excluding Shabbat, throughout which the wicked are in any event given a reprieve. It thus emerges that out of the 144 hours in the work week, which is 24 times 6, the souls of the wicked spent 117 hours, or 144 minus 27, suffering in Gehenna. So, the book of Shir Hashirim was composed by uh, Shlomo HaMelech and contains 117 verses. Is there not a connection here? Well, we'll soon find out. Corresponding to the 117 hours of suffering endured by the souls of the wicked each week. And thus, we end, as we end the week, we read this book in case, Chas uh, V'Shalom, we have done something during the week for which we deserve being condemned to Gehenna. Our reading of this book at the end of the week serves as a tikkun, a rectification, for anything we might have done to earn this kind of harsh sentence. Now, I'm not sure whether this applies for women or men, because women and men, I should say, because he doesn't say this in the email, but I imagine it can't hurt, right? Um, so Shlomo HaMelech wrote this book to atone for the three sins that he committed, violating the Torah's restrictions on the amount of wives, wealth, and horses a king is allowed to have, because Hashem said there's a certain amount of you know, women you're allowed to marry, a certain amount of money um, you could have, and a certain amount of horses. There was a reason for it, so unfortunately he went, he did not follow that. He thought he would be able to do what's right, and it didn't turn out that way. So each violation is punishable by 39 lashes, or, or um, malkos is called. Um, and so he composed 117 pesukim of Shir Hashirim, hence 39 times 3, which equals 117 to atone for these transgressions. So he did it for his own benefit, but it also benefits others now as well. So the simple reason for reading Shir Hashirim as Shabbat begins is because it refers to the Jewish people as a kala, the Almighty's bride. Vati l'gani achoti kala. Levavtini achoti kala. So that's what we say. And it thus relates to Shabbat, which is also called a bride, as we say in the Friday night uh, prayer, Bowi kala, bowi kala, bowi kala. In light of the importance and value of reading Shir Hashirim before Shabbat, Everyone should make an effort to arrive at the synagogue on time on Friday afternoon and to participate in the reading. So it doesn't necessarily have to be there. I mean, you could do it at home. That's also great. The reading of Shir Shirim is not a time for socializing or other activities. It is an important part of Tefillah in which everyone should participate, especially in light of the fact that as Chazal teaches us, whereas all books of the Tanakh are Kadosh, holy, the book of Shir Shirim is Kadosh Kadoshim, the holiest of holy. And here, now you know why. It's because of those 117 um, verses corresponding to the 117 hours. So we want to try to overcome that. I know it's not always easy and time uh, for you to be able to do it, especially now when um, there's less hours in the day to do it, but try to make an effort. Um, it's not easy. I'm not saying that I've been able to do it. I, I think I did it once, uh, but I want to also read it in English. It's in Hebrew, and if you don't understand what you're reading, it's more important that you read it in English. So I hope that I can... Be'ezah Hashem, uh, be able to do that as well. 
and I hope you will as well because it will help you and others in the long run. And I hope and pray that we all merit to live and see the coming of Mashiach speedily in our days and the rebuilding of our final and everlasting base Hamigdash. Amen and thanks for watching.